So obviously we've talked about that you've collaborated with uh, artists and writers of all from all walks of life, basically. So what are some of your favorite collaborations that you've done uh, over the years? Wow, I mean, mm, so really, again, so, so, so many. Um, I've been really fortunate to work with some just extraordinary creators. Uh, there's been the last few years I've been doing a lot of symphonic band music. Okay. And there's been a, a number of pieces. One uh, composer whose name is uh, Jonathan Mackey. Um, John Mackey, who this is a piece. It's called Songs from the End of, End of the World. And it's just, and I've gotten to perform it in a number of places. It's not an original written, written for me. It's for another singer that he works with who's wonderful. Um, I think her name is Lindsay Kesselman, but I'm not sure. So forgive me if that's not the right name. And another is a composer, Michael Doherty, who, who's just this fascinating composer. He kind of combines a jazzy element to a lot of the things that he writes. Uh, and the poetry that he chooses is so unusual. And I've gotten to do uh, now two, two very big kind of almost symphonic, but, but with a symphonic band um, pieces of his that go through these journeys and they're so expressive and they're so unusual. Like they'll also have rhythm sections and, you know, and you can kind of feel yourself dancing in them. And um, that's just been amazing. Now, as a creator, uh, so for instance, this, this last, this last uh, music video that's just come out, that's mm -hmm. a, a dream of best. Um, this guy who's this, just a wonderful, he, he's primarily a film composer. His name is Marcello De Francisi, and he lives here in Los Angeles. And again, with these kind of kismet things in the universe, we met at this party. <laughs> and uh, I was so kind of not even paying attention to him. And then he wrote to me a couple months later saying, can we do some stuff together? And again, I feel there's, there's these magical qualities of a lot of the connections that come into my life. And him included, uh, the work process that we're how we do things i come to his studio now socially distanced uh -huh. and, you know and we're very careful and everything but basically it's he has ideas that are basic kind of orchestral and i get to improvise on them and um and for this last one it was um we didn't even think there would be words. And then at the last minute he said, I think you need to write words for this. And again, very organic. And then frankly, beyond a lot of the kind of initial musical stuff that I do, sometimes we go back and forth. He'll have more concise musical ideas. I'll come back. But then he does a lot of the work of the production and kind of forming it into something. And this one just came out so beautifully. And it's now in this film that it's it's part of a film that that it's the music video of the film. And I, mm -hmm. I it was completely unexpected. It was really a beautiful surprise. So yeah, I don't know if I'm answering your question. No, yeah, definitely definitely. Kind of on that, on that same vein. So then has there ever been um, some kind of dream project or dream collaboration that you might not have had the time to do or thought about and never gotten around to doing it that you would love to do in the future? Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a, there's a number. I, I don't have it as concise uh, visions quite yet, 
I have, I myself have written uh, quite a number of, of solos of songs, and I would love to find the right partner again to shape them and kind of produce an album out of them. Um, there's been pieces in the past that I've done that I would love to do again. I, one of the funnest experiences I've ever had was doing it was with the Los Angeles Phil Philharmonic. Uh, the conductor was Esapeka Salonen, and it was Frank Zappa had written, I think it's an hour or maybe over an hour piece called 200 Motels. And it's the wackiest thing you've ever, it's so crazy. It has a rock band. It's about his band, uh, kind of how they had to go from mo mm -hmm. motel to motel, right? So they're kind of going crazy in these little towns. And at the same time, it's all these hallucinations of his, and he writes the most contemporary classical music intertwined into it, which we, me and the uh, LA Master Chorale was in it. Grant Carchon was was the one preparing them and, and conducting them in it. And it was, and the, the and it was all staged. And um, this wonderful director, James Dara, who's, who does a ton of, a ton of opera these days. And the vision was so big and colorful. I don't know, there was something just really special about it. And it was only done once, you know? Mm -hmm. Because that's a lot of times in the classical world, that's how these things happen. I something like that. If it went on tour, I'd go on tour with it. <laughs> um, there's. I also, yeah. I've. Um, I started working. There's a kind of piece that I'm writing. It's a little more orchestral, but it's. I'm. I'm really the. Again, I'm good at melody and some harmony and and words and the kind of the small form yeah. and, um, and I'm starting to work with a composer on what, what this would mean. I think it might even end up being either a recorded kind of more multimedia, I'm not sure, but it really has to do with, um, for la lack of, of better description, with the world beyond and letting go and and the the kind of interconnectedness of all of us yeah mm -hmm. so you were talking about how when you worked on a flower from a dream of this um it was obviously covid had kind of changed all of that so is there anything that you know I'm trying to put a positive spin on it anything that covid and uh, all of the changes that have happened do you think there's anything that has that's going to stick in your um, like day to day or like the way that you conduct your business as a, as an artist that's going to continue on even after this has come to pass? Uh, again, thank you for such a beautiful question and for the recognition of 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 how good it is to to to, to kind of see the positive in these things, right? Yeah. Um, I, I personally have experienced a plethora of positive. Of course. And, and a lot of it has been as an artist. And I, again, mm -hmm. I don't, I'm not sure. We'll see where, where things unfold. But there's been something about the slowing down, which, which I think in terms of the necessity of all of us to really start to act, not start, but to hone the way we listen to the world, to each other, to ourselves. And creativity is always going to come through that. And I'm very excited about what kind of creativity will flower from, from creators that listen deeper. Um, simplify which is in a sense a, a kind of sister to that to simplify um again i'm not sure i can talk about it so practically yet but just maybe to do one thing at a time or to really have an idea of what um what you want to express like for me a 
a real clarity came about the last few months about how much I love to uplift and to bring people joy and and to do things from there you know again without any expectation of whether people get it or don't get it and i see that some do and some maybe don't and it's fine it's mm-hmm. more that it's coming from this place that i just want to make people smile and i'm creating from that place and that's been really really beautiful for me yeah any any more thoughts on that i can't think of um yeah you know, hmm. kind of at a loss for words <laughs> yeah that's okay. But, that's why i'm asking you is there anything you want me to expand on for in terms of i guess uh, also like i know that you haven't been doing it you know a, a plethora but what is your opinion on um artistry um over the internet and then via all these different virtual mediums you know do you think that that's going to expand further and that's something that you might seek to absolutely follow? absolutely um i my my heart's wish is that it kind of all in- starts integrating yeah and not only that I, there's something again i think the even the the communication that's been so much this there's something in it that's also teaching us about how deeply connected we are because we're not able to be getting that physical you know um and even further than that it's non scientific uh contemplation but that maybe it will develop certain ways in which we get that connection yes in in a in a physical way in a spiritual way in whatever way because we're being asked to really connect like this and um to me that's beautiful you know and if we can find deeper ways to make this something that does that for us let's yeah let's create more in that in that medium absolutely so kind of um a 180 to uh go on more like a lighthearted fun question okay is there any person or who would be the person anybody throughout history living or dead that you would love to either collaborate with perform something with have a coffee with who would yeah. that be i want <laughs> Oh my god. I mean, don't laugh. I used to have it's going to sound so cliché because I'm going to say Mozart. But okay. but it's more the Amadeus idea of Mozart. Okay. Yeah. I also read a lot about him. Mm-hmm. And you know when there's all what I want to do is go go to a bar with him. That's really what I want to do. Um I just I don't know because he he seemed like such a light spirit. Yeah. In so many ways and so funny, always looking for ways, you know, there's all these uh cor- chorals, choral chorals, chorals that he wrote with the raunchiest text and <laughs> yeah, and he used to play all these musical games and mm-hmm. really loved partying and um it's just something very lively about the guy. And I just love to experience that one on, you know, that mm-hmm. that would be just an, a fun night with Mozart. That would be Yeah. Good. Yeah. Just like being able to talk with somebody who has such a brilliant mind who's also got that that fun side where it's not always going to be that heavy. Seriously, exactly. I yeah, that'd be great. Um so how has uh how has your son inspired your music? You know, we talked about you talked about a little bit before about how being a mom has changed you as an artist and having to um adapt with that and integrate it into your music so kind of going further with that how has he inspired you oh my god i mean spencer i love you thank you for these questions of course it's um <laughs> it's metaphysical the inspiration that he mm-hmm. that, 
that I feel from this person. Uh, there's the kind of inter the interpersonal, right? I've, mm -hmm. I've really been challenged. That's what parenthood is to, to, to really, to really see the other person, you know, they're, and who they want to be and how they want to express themselves. And he's so much himself, which is absolutely wonderful. And um, there's, a, there's this daily practice of me really paying attention to that. And whatever ideas I have, I, I, like literally 90% of the time, just throwing them out the window. Um, I've also been inspired, and I have to say this about all children. I, I just, you know, I think they're, they're the deepest souls and they're wise and they have so much to teach all of us. And I see it with my own child again on a, on a regular, regular basis. There's an understanding and there's a wisdom and there's things that he understands. He'll, he's very um, emotionally intelligent. And sometimes he'll tell me kind of observations about myself or about others, or, you know, just like about the dynamic of something that I wouldn't even knew, known how to, maybe even I felt it, but I didn't know how to put it in words. And he amazes me. Um, and he's also been the, one of the inspirations of kind of breaking through all those boxes, you know? Yeah. Um, he's, I don't know that he's going to be a musician. Uh, he might, he loves cooking. That's his favorite thing these days. Yay, you know, yay for me. <laughs> <laughs> it's really nice. But, but he's a very, very kind of effervescent, flowing musician. Mm -hmm. He loves complicated jazz. Jazz is his favorite and really complex jazz. And he's opened my eyes and my mind and my, you know, just my opinion about, well, sometimes in the car or these mm -hmm. days in the house, he'll play something where I can't even, I, my eyes are cross-eyed listening to it. Um, and he'll start singing a melody inside of it or mm -hmm. something. And I'm like, oh, there's, there's some sense to this or he understands it, which is also kind of inspiring and amazing. Yeah, and he writes beautiful music too. And 